Hello traders. Welcome to another episode of Trading Strategies. When we talk about indicators, they can be basically divided into trend indicators and oscillators. Both of these types have their own uses and advantages. Trend indicators are used to identify trends on a particular time frame. In this video, we dive deep into the mechanics of our cutting-edge indicator designed to maximize your profits and improve your trading strategy. Changing a few settings of this indicator can help you make very good profits. Whether you are a new trader or a seasoned professional, this powerful tool will help you make informed decisions in the market. In this video I will share how to use the VIX Spike Indicator. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our new videos. And don't forget to share this video on your WhatsApp, Facebook account or Twitter to show your support. A very important point before we begin. Everything we have discussed in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading and crypto as the price action across different assets remains relatively stable. First, let us know about the trading tool. The buy and sell signal indicator that we see in the chart is called the VIX spike indicator. The green and red histogram that we see in the chart is called the Elliott Wave Oscillator Indicator. Friends, let's create a trading setup. We have opened a 1-hour chart of XAUSD. First of all, click on the Trading View Indicator. Here search in the search box. VIX spike. Add this indicator to the chart. Now search in the search box. Elliott Wave Oscillator. Add this indicator to the chart. Now click on the settings of the VIX spike indicator. Click on Inputs. In VIX period, you have to change 14 to 61. Save this setting. Now click on the settings of the Elliott Wave Oscillator indicator. SMA1 length has to be made 28 instead of 5. SMA2 length has to be made 22 instead of 35. Click on Style. Some settings have to be changed here. Save this setting. Friends, our trading setup is ready, like the video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Friends, let's see some examples of trades. When the VIX spike indicator gives us a sell signal. When the Elliott Wave Oscillator indicator has created a red histogram. When the market creates a bearish candle, if this condition is met, then we will take a sell order. Our stop loss is to be kept at the previous high of the market. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. We have won the trade. Let's see the next trade. When the VIX spike indicator gives us a buy signal. When the Elliott Wave Oscillator indicator has created a green histogram. When the market forms a bullish candle, if this condition is met, we will take a buy order. Our stop loss is to be placed at the previous low of the market. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's see the next trade. When the VIX spike indicator gives us a sell signal. When the Elliott Wave Oscillator indicator has formed a red histogram. When the market forms a bearish candle, if this condition is met, we will take a sell order. Our stop loss is to be placed at the previous high of the market. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's see the next trade. When the VIX spike indicator gives us a sell signal. When the Elliott Wave Oscillator indicator has formed a red histogram. When the market forms a bearish candle, if this condition is met, we will take a sell order. Our stop loss is to be placed at the previous high of the market. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's see the next trade.
when the VIX spike indicator gives us a sell signal, when the Elliott wave oscillator indicator has formed a red histogram, when the market forms a bearish candle, if this condition is met, we will take a sell order. Our stop loss is to be placed at the previous high of the market, and the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's see the next trade. When the VIX spike indicator gives us a buy signal. When the Elliott wave oscillator indicator has formed a green histogram. When the market forms a bullish candle, if this condition is met, we will take a buy order. Our stop loss is to be placed at the previous low of the market. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's see the next trade. When the VIX spike indicator gives us a buy signal. When the Elliott wave oscillator indicator has created a green histogram. When the market creates a bullish candle. If this condition is met, we will take a buy order. Our stop loss is to be placed at the previous low of the market. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more trading tips and strategies. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.